John D. Rockefeller. American businessman, and founder of, The Standard Oil Company. Biography, and quotes to live by. John Davison Rockefeller. Birthday, July 8, 1839. Cancer. Born in, Richford, New York, United States. John Davison Rockefeller Sir, was a renowned American industrialist, and philanthropist. Born into a modest family, he worked his way up to become one of the wealthiest persons in modern history. He began his career as an assistant bookkeeper at the age of 16. By the age of 20, he had ventured into his own business, with partner Maurice B. Clark. Recognizing the potential, of commercial oil business, John and Maurice invested in a refinery at Cleveland, Ohio in 1863. In 1870, he established the Standard Oil Company, which within a decade almost monopolized, and controlled 90% of the U.S. refineries, and pipelines. In 1911, the U.S. Supreme Court found Standard Oil, in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act, and ordered its dissolution. After his retirement, he became an active philanthropist, and donated generously to the church, educational institutions, public health causes, and medical researches. During his lifetime, he donated more than $500 million, to various charitable causes. We have collected John D. Rockefeller's quotes, from his observations, writings, speeches, interviews, and life. Browse the through these quotes from this oil magnate on wealth, equality, knowledge, wisdom, hard work, success and motivation. Don't be afraid, to give up the good, to go for the great. A friendship founded on business, is better, than a business founded on friendship. I do not think, there is any other quality so essential to success, of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. Good management, consists in showing average people, how to do the work of superior people. The way to make money is, to buy when blood is running in the streets. Every right implies a responsibility, every opportunity, an obligation, every possession, a duty. Competition is, a sin. The only question with wealth is, what do you do with it? I would rather hire a man, with enthusiasm, than a man who knows everything. Giving should be entered into in just the same way, as investing. Giving is, investing. Do you know the only thing, that gives me pleasure? It's to see, my dividends coming in. I would rather earn 1% off of 100 people's efforts, than 100% of my own efforts. I have ways of making money, that you know nothing of. The secret to success is, to do the common things uncommonly well. I believe, in the dignity of labor, whether with head, or hand, that the world owes no man a living, but that it owes every man an opportunity, to make a living. The most important thing for a young man is, to establish a credit, a reputation, character. Charity is, injurious unless, it helps the recipient, to become independent of it. The ability to deal with people is, as purchasable a commodity, as sugar, or coffee, and I will pay more, for that ability, 
than for any other under the sun. I know, of nothing more despicable, and pathetic, than a man who devotes all the hours, of the waking day, to the making of money, for money's sake. I can think of nothing less pleasurable, than a life devoted to pleasure. Don't blame the marketing department. The buck stops with the chief executive. I believe, that thrift is, essential to well-ordered living. Next to doing the right thing, the most important thing is, to let people know, you are doing the right thing. It is wrong to assume, that men of immense wealth are, always happy. I was early taught to work, as well as play. My life has been one long happy holiday. Full of work, and full of play. I dropped the worry on the way, and God was good to me, every day. A man, has no right to occupy another man's time unnecessarily. If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new paths, rather than travel the worn paths of accepted success. I always tried to turn, every disaster, into an opportunity. Nobody does anything, if he can get anybody else to do it. If your only goal is, to become rich, you will never achieve it. Singleness of purpose is, one of the chief essentials, for success in life, no matter what may be one's aim. The only thing which is of lasting benefit to a man is, that which he does for himself. Money which comes to him, without effort on his part is, seldom a benefit, and often occurs. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it will be an inspiration, and share your opinion in the comments. Don't forget, to like, and subscribe. Don't miss the next video.